Hi, uh, I had a video a few weeks or months ago about Substance Designer and exporting uh, out of Substance Designer the separate textures. And somebody asked me recently if I can export the occlusion, roughness, and metallic in one RGB texture to have one in each RGB channel. The answer to that is yes. And in fact, Unity does that sort of. They have a, a different channel set up, but it is, if I have the picture here. Ah, I love what you got. Here. All right. It is RGBA. It has metallic in one channel, ambient occlusion in another channel, detail mask in a third channel, and the G channel, so RGB, and this is A. Smoothness is the inverse of roughness. I'm just going to use this same setup, but only leave it roughness over here. So I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is push space, come to here, and look for RGB and you're gonna want RGB merge. And what it's gonna give you is all these outputs have black and white, at least these do. So they're gonna give you this RGB merge. So I'm gonna merge any channel I want into this. And all I have to do is take, let's say the, this is my metallic, since I wanna use that in my R, I'll put that at the R. And then this is my ambient occlusion, will be my green. Uh, and then I have nothing for my, my blue map, but I do have this roughness and I'll put that in my alpha. I'm just keeping it in the same pattern as, as Substance uh, or Unity is using it because it seems like a seem, uh, simple layout. And then I'm gonna come back in here and do output. And then in the output, I'm gonna select it and make sure I say something. In this case, again, I'm just gonna use uh, Unity setup because that's the name they're using. You can use whatever name convention you want. You could just name it whatever you want. Mass map. And then there's that. So now I have RGB, all these channels separated out. And if I come up here back to the export like we did in the previous video, you'll see that now I have all of these textures separated out. And I can decide which ones I want to keep. Um, let's keep only the ones we're going to look at for this right here. And then I'll just go ahead and um, export the outputs. takes a second exports done and okay so everything is a PNG right so it's got transparency here's my metallic here's my ambient occlusion here's my I mean, here's my ambient occlusion here's my roughness um, if I open up the mask map that was just created if I drag it into Photoshop you'll see it does this now this is because it's an alpha built into a PNG um, if you don't know how to do this I'll show you real quick how you get your alpha back out so if you didn't do it as a target with a separate alpha, um, you just say from transparency, it'll do a selection. And if I go back up here, you'll see now I have this mask. If I push Alt and click on that mask, I get a cop. I get to see the actual um, mask map. Just Control A, Control C, and then what I'm going to do is add a new um, alpha channel and just paste it straight into there. So now that colors in the alpha channel. Then I want to come back up here to this and tell this alpha channel to delete layer mask. And now I have my color separated out and my alpha. That's if you have a PNG. If you did it as a TGA, it'll come in that way. But the reason I did this is, let me do something here. I'm gonna go arrange and I'm gonna go to vertically and I'm gonna put uh, the ambient occlusion on this side, um, or I'm sorry, the ma uh, mask map on that side and the other ones over here. So I'm gonna start with the metallic. Metallic's black. If I come over to the mask map and I go to the channels, you'll see red channel, black. If I go to the next one, which would be ambient occlusion, because that was set to green, I come over here to my green, and there it's matching again. And if I come to the last one, which is my roughness, and I go back over here, which, in, oops, I moved it. Didn't mean to move it. Um, oh, you silly boy, okay. So we're just gonna have to have, have it hanging. But if I go over to the alpha, you'll see it matches again. So now I have a texture that has all three channels being, or four channels being used as separate uh, metal or opacity, whatever you want, really. And that's basically all you have to do. So I hope that helped and we'll talk to you soon.